Yeah. Crystal clear, course vision, manifesting my wishes. You ain't on my vibration, and I'm keeping my distance. We don't do that evil lie, cause I'm already winning. Put your ego to the side, you might break through the ceiling. I had to level up, take a look at my loose ends and get them settled, yeah. Even if that means some friends will go get jealous, yeah. Working on my patience, still ain't got time for no fake shit and no hating. I don't know what to say. I'm in alignment, keeping it honest, feeling that vibe today. Gotta pack this rise in perfect timing. Don't overcomplicate it. The meaning of the word mortgage. All right, so it says sec words of spells, part 15. Now today's word is mortgage. Now this is the original meaning of the word mortgage. All right, so it says security for a loan or agreement. And it also says dead pledge or just dead. So when you sign a contract and get a mortgage, you're already getting in something that's already dead. Peace, and please stay woke. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, my Scorpios? I love you guys. When you have the energy to do, do. When you have the energy to chill, chill, all right? Always honor your body, because your body know what's up, okay? So Scorpios, I am creative. So you could be in a creative block and it's okay. We in retrograde, okay? I was in it, you know, people like, bitch, where my video at? I'm like, damn, I gave you some pictures. Chill out, you know? But I'm not in that energy of flow of being creative right now. There's a lot of energy coming in and I feel like you need to honor it. Don't press yourself when you feel that creative energy. Do it because when you're forced to do something, it won't be at your best, Scorpio, all right? Your angels are ready to fully support you, but right now you just need to chill, okay? And honor that. Now, if you've been chilling for five months, I am not talking to you, <laughs> okay? All right limitless okay so just know that as you are going through this retrograde you are still limitless you're not having less opportunity it's just that you need to slow down your body can have aches and pains and places and you like what's going on you're just having ascension symptoms this could be your inner leg your thigh your foot could be doing some weird shit all of this is ascension symptoms okay you are starting to activate bodies in your i mean parts in your body neurons in your body that's going to help you be more creative okay a lot of us are being upgraded and many people are passing away because they're not able to integrate this new energy into their body all right and i'm not saying that to be mean but we are evolving whether you guys like it or not and these people that are passing it's not bad it's just the fact that they're going to go on the other side and maybe help you with these numbers because some of you guys are acting very oblivious to this change now this could not be you this could be people outside of you waking the fuck up like damn now i'm seeing 555 they go that 111 bullshit again scorpio was talking that fuck shit about that now it's happening to me and they're realizing that they're starting to be more creative some of these people are fighting against their creativity basically saying things like nah that's not gonna work maybe i shouldn't do this podcast maybe i shouldn't become a barber but they're gonna fight past that energy because they're evolving and it's happening right now okay so just know that these could be people from the past just coming to you basically saying hey what the fuck does this mean okay all right, so Scorpio, these people are craving different kinds of food. They're craving nourishing foods. They're going to have to start giving up junk food, and it's going to be encouraging, all right? So Scorpio, spirit is the only thing that spirit is telling you is to be observant. Start to pay attention to who these people are that's coming to you, that's starting to evolve, that's starting to have, like, you know, courage. Now, courage comes in different ways. You might have people come to you like, oh, is that how you're surviving? Like somebody came to you to see if you got a large sum of money to say that that's how you're surviving. And you lied to them. You put a story out just to see if they would bite. Whoever this is, I'm not encouraging you to lie, but you just put some shit out there to see if that's what this person was going to go around and do. And they did that. So now with this confirmation, I don't care what this story is that you put out. It's them biting it. Drop them. Block them distance yourself from them because this person is trying to go around and say that this is how you got your success and it's far from it okay you also have i am um i have courage you have a lot of courage okay and it's because of the nutrients that you eat or whatever that you're putting into your body all right also scorpio you could be seeing 666 you only got two cards in the stand up so you are centered and you are very observant so when people try to say no that's not what it is no this person is going around spreading your business telling your business saying all this different stuff about you and you're dead on you're absolutely correct so stay observant and start blocking 
start blocking people because you don't need the energy and every time you pick up a phone every time you accept a phone call you're allowing that energy to come in your life you're allowing that person to come in and corrupt you with negativity and gossip and that shit did that shit for real is a ritual that makes you older now hold on before you run thinking i'm tripping right so i i study rituals reading a book actually now that's about rituals and one thing that i saw is that in order for you to do a ritual you have to light a candle you have to chant the name of the entity or thing that you're trying to evoke you have to say it at least three times now just think about what's going on doing this birthday ritual another thing with doing a ritual you have to be in a circle because the circle carries the most vibration it's the most balanced shape so on your birthday your family circle around you you light this candle on this cake and then you chant in this ritual happy birthday to you and they singing it three times and then you're saying how old are you now so when they say how old are you they're not saying how young are you you could literally be four or five but they still saying how 